Hey guys, we have the very end of the book. After Minuet in G, we just have two other songs. Uh, one of them is on page 44. It's called Time is on My Side, uh, a famous song from a long time ago um, that is easy enough that you'd be able to play both the harmony and the melody for it. And then if you turn the page on page 46, you've got the grand finale, um, which kind of incorporates uh, every single pitch we kind of learned on all of the strings except for not the sharp ones so very very fun now you might think wow oh no now what am i gonna do with all of my all of my time i learned how to do all of this stuff and 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 now what so here's the thing you should get the second book this book sorry that this is backwards and not the way you're thinking this book here is um all three in one if you get the second version the second book you can go on and the stuff that you've already learned will be enough that you'll be able to go through and learn most of this on your own the guitar has a couple of things you have to remember about you know how to get your fingers to work best on the fret on the on the strings and in which fret but other than that there are just a couple other techniques you have to learn. There are really great YouTube videos out there. And this book is meant to be, as long as you read all of this, the, the words, um, you'll be able to play everything in here. And in the second book, you got things like hammer-ons and pull-offs, the things that you want to do to sound cool on the guitar. They teach you even more about um, different scales and different riffs that you use and what a riff is, how to play notes in the second position, and um, playing all sorts of other things that would be really interesting and really fun. Like, you know, power chords, which is if you're looking at people that play the guitar that we listen to a lot, lots of rock music is built on power chords. It's just easy. So these are the things you want to do. And then you should get the third book because after a while, you're going to want to do what's called flat picking, which is picking through chords individually, string on string. And it just sounds very cool. So this shouldn't be the end for you. Even though we're getting to the end of the semester, you should be able to go on. There are tons of sites where you can look up tablature, where you can look up the chord progressions, where you can see videos on how to play things that you'd really like to do. And you can do this by just practicing a little bit every day. You know, it's important to take care of yourself as you get older and you have more and more things you've got to do. Self-care is important. And having something that's just for you, even if you never share your ability to play the guitar with anybody else, if it can give you a little break from the rest of your life, if it can help you just practice things and keep things in perspective where you can take the worries and cares that you have from your life and set them aside for a second and just play some music and get better at stuff, it's a good way to be a good, well-adjusted adult. So, my friends, still so many things to do. Still so many things to learn. This is just your beginning. Good luck.